There are many mandatory college courses that you have to take in order to graduate with your degree. And a lot of them have absolutely nothing to do with your major. But what many people don't know is there are easy, fast, affordable, and reliable ways for you to test out of many of these common classes. And there are many examples of people who use the methods that I'm gonna be talking about in this video to take a four to five year degree and graduate in two years or even less. Some people even take this to an extreme and they're able to graduate college in a year or less. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the courses that are very common, very unnecessary in many cases, and also very easy for you to test out of. And if you appreciate this type of content, make sure to let me know by gently tapping that like button and commenting down below. And if you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on content in the future. All right, so number five on the list is going to be an entry level English class also known at many universities as English 204 or English Composition 1. So pretty much everyone who's gone through college has taken some form of this class. You read books in class, you talk about the books, you talk about how it made you feel, you write essays about it and book reports. And don't get me wrong, I love reading books myself and it can be really fun to talk about books in class and even write essays on them sometimes. But if you are gonna spend a ton of money to go to college, is this really something you wanna pay several thousand dollars for. And on top of that, a lot of the time you have to take this class before you take another class and then take that other class before you take another class, etc, etc. And if you don't do everything exactly perfect, a lot of the time you will not be able to graduate on time. So one of my favorite ways that you can test out of this class would be using study.com and over 20,000 people have tested out of this class using study.com. All right, so let's go over the cost of a service like study.com versus the cost of a university. So per course, study.com costs around $99 and at a private university, the same course would cost about $4,500, and at a public university, that same exact course would cost $2,000. So if you're able to take like five classes using study.com, congratulations, you might have just saved yourself over $10,000. And that doesn't even count the fact that you're gonna be able to graduate early, which is gonna add opportunity cost to the equation. So you're gonna graduate early, get your first job earlier, and start making money. Now, another really popular option for testing out of classes is of course AP exams. That's advanced placement. And these can be good as well. They're typically around $144. If you buy study material for them, they can be even more than that. But a service like study.com has a ton of advantages over AP exams. For one, AP exams can only be taken while you're in high school. Study.com can be taken while you're in high school or while you're in college. And I put together a little chart here just to compare university courses, AP exams, and study.com. And you see that study.com is by far the cheapest. You can also take up to five courses per month on study.com, whereas with an AP exam, it takes you an entire semester. And then once you've passed the class, you're then allowed to take the AP exam. Study.com is self-paced and convenient, whereas AP exams tend to be difficult. Depending on the college you go to, they may only accept like a four or a five score for you to actually get credit for it. When it comes to location, you can take it anywhere. It's all online with study.com, whereas AP exams are different. You you have to be going to high school. With study.com, you can take the classes anytime, whereas with an AP exam, they're only offered at certain times. And with study.com, you can take the classes at any age, whereas AP exams are only offered during high school. Now, on top of that, AP exams tend to have a very low pass rate, whereas study.com exams tend to have a very high pass rate. So physics, for instance, is an AP exam that only has a 42.1% pass rate, and only 6.9% of students pass with a five. So if you're going to one of those colleges that requires you to have a five on the AP score, then there's like a 95% chance you're not gonna get it. On the other hand, out of the people who took a class on study.com, 92% of them passed the test. So yeah, study.com has been featured on a bunch of different news outlets. Uh, a lot of people, especially those who go to specific schools, love to use study.com in order to test out of a bunch of different classes. And there's actually a community of people who do this college hacking where they basically try to graduate uh, from universities in a year or less and study study.com is one of the main resources that they use. Now you don't necessarily have to be as extreme as some of these people are, you know, they take it to a whole nother level, but if you save yourself a semester, maybe even an entire year, that is going to be excellent. And you can check out the links to study.com. I will leave them down in the description below. Now, by the way, make sure it works for your school. Uh, there's over 1500 schools that they partner with and it's growing every single day. So there's an ability for you to check to see if your school is covered. You just have to go to the website and then view the 
partner schools and then search to see if your school is a partner. And to be honest with you, if your school isn't a partner, they're doing you a huge disservice because there's absolutely nothing wrong with accepting study.com credits, especially for these super, super common classes that everybody has to take. The only reason, in my opinion, that they would not accept this is because they want to make more money off of you. And I was able to get a special link from study.com. This is an exclusive link. Almost nobody has it. You can get 30% off your first three months if you use my link down in the description below. Next one on the list is going to be communications one 20. This is also known as presentation skills in the workplace. Now there's many different classes that are similar to this. Usually they'll make you take some sort of communication class where you do presentations. And I remember I had to do this one time. The air conditioner broke at my university. I was going to the University of Kansas at the time. And I had to give a presentation in front of the class with a broken air conditioner in the middle of the summer. And I was just sweating from head to toe because I was really nervous. And so I was kind of sweating because of that. And it made it even worse that it was hot. So if you aren't a big fan of public speaking and you kind of want to miss out on that experience of you know, giving a presentation or maybe several presentations to a class of 30 to 50 people, then this would be a great one for you to consider skipping on. And like I said before, check the website, check with their customer service to see if your school accepts the credits. Next one on the list, number three is going to be Psychology 101. Intro to Psychology. Now this is a super interesting class. Don't don't get me wrong, I've always thought psychology classes were very interesting, but do you really want to pay thousands of dollars to take this entry level class? Now this is basically a liberal arts general elective, so you have to choose some liberal arts class. I do recommend taking Psychology 101, I think you'll probably find it to be very interesting. And by the way, if you're considering majoring in something, and maybe if you don't even want to get credit at all, you can take these classes just to kind of dip your toe in and see what it would actually be like to take real online college classes. And you don't even have have to take the test at the end, you basically just take it just to see if you enjoy it. So that's another really good way for you to figure out if you enjoy something and you can figure out if this is maybe the career path you want to go down or the degree that you want to get. Number two on the list is going to be Business 302, Foundations of Leadership. Now this is a 300 level class, so it's not an entry level class and you can still knock it out on study.com. So if you think that study.com is only for simple lower level classes, yes, they do have a lot of those, but sometimes they also have the higher level ones as well. Now, once the illness happened and a bunch of different schools went online, many of them actually turned to study.com. They actually used study.com's classes in order to supplement their own online education because they basically didn't have any. And so a lot of universities were actually using study.com in place of their own curriculum. And over 30 million students a month use study.com to meet their educational goals. And that's why they are ACE and NCCRS accredited. Now, the first four that we talked about we're kind of like liberal arts, kind of just general electives, and then one upper level business class. And you might be thinking, okay, Shane, I'm a STEM major, you know, maybe I'm an engineer, maybe I'm in technology, something along those lines. I'm not going to be able to use this to test out of those classes. Well, actually, you're wrong. There are other classes that you can test out of that are in STEM. So for example, an intro level computer science class like Computer Science 110, Introduction to Cybersecurity. Now, a good friend of mine, Josh McAdore, which I actually interviewed him on the channel about a year back, he was able to use methods, including study.com, to graduate with a computer science degree in less than a semester. And this is a legitimate computer science degree. He was able to immediately get a job as a programmer after graduating with a degree. And he got job offers from high-level technology companies, including FANG. So this method can be useful for just about any major to shorten the length. So definitely check out study.com. Amazing resource, super, super awesome resource for you to use, whether you are gonna test out of credits or just check out classes to see if there's something that you enjoy. Study.com is fun phenomenal. Definitely check them out. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video, and I will see you next time. <laughs>